Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. And I am a rail enthusiast, loves going up and down the country, riding on the trains, filming and taking photos of them as well. These videos of my railway journeys can differ sometimes as they can go to plan or will go bad. Welcome to Simon Trains Railway Journeys. Trent Valley only. Hello everyone, welcome to Rushi Trent Valley Station. Now, I was going to do my intro at Rushi Town Station, but unfortunately, this unit behind me, 350 122, arrived at 0650 just as I walked onto the platform to wait for my train. So, I could do my intro at Rushi Town Station. That's why I'm doing it at Rushi Trent Valley Station. Now, we shall be visiting the following four stations today Runcorn, Frodsham, Helsby, and our final station of the day. Ron Corney. Now the reason I'm visiting three out of four stations is because Ron Corn East, Frodsham and Helsby used to be hourly services during off-peak. Now thanks to the new Liverpool to Chester service which goes by the Hatton Curve which we shall be doing today from Ron Corn, and there's a northern service that runs from Leeds to Chester which is an hourly service you had more traffic now available for them stations so that's why I'm doing them three stations because before the May timetable there used to be hourly services from North Wales to Manchester Piccadilly only and you had to do them during evening peak which um, I did help me once during evening peak but um, yeah so now I'm waiting for the 0709 to Stafford I've got to get off of Stafford because I've got to do something quickly and then I'll be catching the train from Stafford straight to Runcorn. But once we're at Runcorn, we're going to have just over there at Runcorn. Then we're just going to have under there at Frodsham. We're going to have just over there at um, Helsby. And we're going to be having an hour at Runcorn East. After Runcorn East, go straight to Warrington, come down the West Coast Main Line to Stafford, and I'll be waiting for 5Q32, which is a trans Express unit drag from Porterbury to Crew South Yard. So that's basically the plan for today. So I'm going to be waiting now, as I mentioned before, for the 0709 to Stafford.
I'm now at uh, Stafford Station after just doing some business. Um, I'm here to change trades also for the um, 0740 to Runcorn. Now my ticket today is actually a controversial ticket because I'm actually travelling in the morning peak. But my ticket from uh, Bruce Trevay to Helsby is actually an off-peak ticket. But the restrictions on it is valid from 0445 in the morning. So this ticket, even though it's an off-peak ticket, and I'm travelling through peak time services is actually valid, believe it or not. So, 740 is going to come in and we're going straight to Runcorn.
I am now at my first station of the day, Runcorn. Now Runcorn station was opened on the 1st of April 1869 by the London North Western Railway. Now if I turn around, you can't see it in this view, but you can just see the start of it is Runcorn Railway Bridge. Now the bridge was opened on the 10th of October 1868, but the first freight train to cross it was on the 1st of February 1869 and the first passenger train to cross it was on the 1st of April 1869. The bridge was built by William Baker. Now I'm here till 9.35, even though the train arrives at 9.31, which takes me to Frodsham, which is the Transport for Rail Service. As you saw in the video, there was a 175-109, a Class 175 DMU, that was came from Chester heading to Liverpool High Street, I think, 175-109 is my train out of here. But um, they used the Halton Curve. I apologise if it said Hatton Curve, but it's Halton Curve. So I'm going to hang around and fill some more trains here till 9.35 and then it's on to Frodsham. Now this next working that's going to pass through is 5F22 or 5 Foxtrot 22. Now this is crew carriage sidings to Waverley Tree Junction and it's a trans Express working which is an empty stock movement. Now I think this could be a 68 with Mark 5 coaches or a 68 on its own. I could be wrong though but anyway it is on its way up. It has a uh, past Hartford at 9 o'clock so it should be here shortly.
a Class 68 locomotive with um, Mark V coaches. But anyway, well, I had that gut feeling. I didn't know it was actually that. Anyway, we are um, heading over to the old platform now, waiting for my train. There's 200 Northwestern ones, and then my transport for rail service. Over here, you can just see in the distance now, more clearly, it's the Runcorn Bridges. You can see the road bridge up there, which I'll zoom in now. And you can see the two like things sticking up, that's the rail bridge. But the road bridge at the moment, I think, is under repair. Okay, this uh, hour and a bit at Runcorn did felt uh, quite weird to be honest because you had announcements for London Northwestern Railways which involved Bletchley, Northampton, all them stages down to London. And then you got this Transport for Wales service at Runcorn. We're on the M0935 now heading to Frodsham. This is the Liverpool to Chester service which um, I was right it was 175109. And we go by the Holton Curve, which is a bit of track I do need to do actually. So we'll be leaving shortly and heading down onto the Warrington to Chester line by the Holton Curve. We're now on the um, Holton Curve. We had to wait for a uh, Class 158 or a Class 150 to pass through, which is going towards Frodsham itself, and then we'd be letting through to follow that. But um, yeah, it's not much of a thing, but I will film this entirely for the video. But um, yeah, we just had a wet night, waited to cross over onto the main line, and then we'll be in Frodsham shortly.
soon be arriving into um, Frosham Station. Now I'm going to do the history actually on board this train because there is no history on Wikipedia for this. Apart from that the station was opened in 1850. Let's go through this um, tunnel now and we should be arriving on the platform in a second. So the station was actually opened in 1850 like I mentioned just a few minutes ago. And it was an hourly service here but you, you could get a half an hourly service in the evening peak. But now since you've got these trains from Liverpool to Chester coming in to this station now and the northern leads to Chester's yep just about to get off now there's more services here so we're going to be at this station now for just under an hour there'll be six trains in our time period we're actually a bit late arriving because we're halted on the Halton curve so I'm going to get off now film this out now, uh, Roger, it's a bit low. I'm just now um, leaving the station for a few minutes because next door to Frodsham Station is a Morrison's. So I'm going to pop in there to get some food and all that and then back to the station. It's amazing what Wikipedia does not tell you. Right here behind me at Frodsham Station is an old goods shed. We we'll surely be leaving Frodsham. Now, this next service is 1 Delta 34, 1 D 34. Now, this started in Manchester Piccadilly and goes to Hollyhead. This is actually the um, Manchester WAG service, which is a Class 67 diesel locomotive with four Mark III coaches and a driving trailer van. So, we'll be catching this from Frodsham to Helsby. Just hope it's not 67014, because apparently that appears not a lot on this um, service.
The next train to arrive at Helsby is actually my train to Runcorn East, which is a transport for Wales service to Manchester Piccadilly. Now before we go into the station history, we're going to go to line history because this is one of those, the line was here first before the station was built. But um, yeah, the line that was here was two railway companies, the Lancashire and Cheshire Railway and the Chester and Birkenhead Railway. Now these two merged became the Birkenhead, Lancashire and Cheshire Railway, but then they shorted it down to the Birkenhead Railway on the 1st of August 1859. Now on the 1st of January 1860 the line was taken over by the London North Western Railway and the Great Western Railway and the station here at Helsby opened in 1863 according to Wikipedia but over in that direction there's a little plaque that says the 1st of July 1863 so I'm guessing the station was open on the 1st of July 1863 Unfortunately, I don't know if it was owned by the London North Western Railway or the Great Western Railway. Now, these two tracks behind me take you to Chester. And then um, coming around the corner here takes you to Liverpool Light Street by the Halton Curve and Warrington Bank Quay. Now, if we go over to the other side here, because this is four platforms at this station, but the, none of these will be touched during our visit today because these are more peaked type services. But this way takes you to Ellesmere Port and on to Hooton and you can go on the Mersey Rail to Birkenhead that way. And then it joins up here at Helsby Junction to take you to Frodsham, Runcorn East, Warrington Banky and the Holton Curve towards Runcorn and Liverpool Line Street. So our train is next to take us to Runcorn East. I'm now at Runcorn East Station. Now this station is actually the youngest station on the route because this opened on the 3rd of October 1983. But there was a station that actually was here before it closed in 1952. Now behind me, just right here, was Norton Station. Now, this was opened on the 18th of December 1850 by the Chester and Birkenhead Railway which they started operations in 1840. Now in 1926 it was renamed to Norton Cheshire and then it closed on the 1st of September 1952. Now little remains of the station today but there is the station building which is buried behind those trees there that still survives and there's a signal box just down here which apparently has the name Norton on it but this station even though it looks a complete mess to be honest which I do apologize to the people that have used this station run called East but that's how I see it I'm afraid opened in 1983 so this is a station I would never do to be honest but since Northern speed through here now with their Chester to Leeds services you get five trains an hour which you can do this station now. So there's a train arriving to London though shortly. Then there's 
a two speeding Chester Toledo service, East Richard Northern, and then it ends with the 3011 to Manchester Airport that will be taken back. But I'll be getting that service as far as Warrington to change onto a Virgin train service. Just left uh, Rug Corley Station now. The apparently it says the bridge where Norton Station was it takes about four minutes to get there. So we're going to have a see if we can try and get to that bridge in time and back before the 3011 to Manchester Airport, which goes to Warrington Bank Key. So we're going to have a look now, see if we can find that station house. Uh, it's back to the station. I think I'm just not far away, so it wasn't too long actually. I thought it was going to be like 25 minutes or so. But no, it's only four minutes apparently. I'm now on Norton Station Road, and just behind me down here is the old railway station building at Norton. I'll zoom in now. Unfortunately, there's no path on this side of the bridge. But you can see down there, that's all that's left of Norton Station. The station building, which is now a private residence. Now the entrance to Norton Station is just down this road here. But the station building now is a private residence, so really we can't really go down there to have a look. But I'm going to head back to the station now to catch my train. I'm now at Warrington Bank Key Station. Now, the plan was to catch the uh, 1340 down to Crewe. The only problem is though, the 1340 is running nearly half an hour late. The Virgin service. Apparently they have announced that there's a fire somewhere up north, near a property, and it's near the lines. So it's 
due here now at 1407. Which I think I could still manage to catch it before I could change the crew quickly, get the Liverpool train to Houston still to get off at Stafford. If not, I'll pick the London Northwestern to London Houston, which actually stops at Rouge Trev Valley, is there. But I can get off at Stafford, have the hour there, get the train again. So I can get 5Q32. In fact, I haven't checked to see if that's running or not yet. If it's not running, I'll just go from Cruise straight back to Rouge Lake. But uh, yeah, so we've got a bit of a wait, wait here for our train to take me down to Crewe. In the meantime though, there is something that I might show you. These are uh, freight lines down the bottom here, which takes you to Arpley Sidings, which is just down there. Surprisingly, I've actually caught a uh, dollars more Ditton run through here, which wasn't expected to film, but I got it. Anyway, there is Arpley Station over there, I want to have a look, which wasn't what I was coming down here for, because I was trying to even get the low level platforms in a video, but once at Arpley Station is there, I'm gonna have a look around there while I've got time. I'm now by this freight only line, which takes to Arpley Sidings, but just over here, and I found it, is where the site of Warrington Arpley Station used to be. Now, I don't have any information on it, so I'm going to have to dub this in. Unfortunately, this is the best that I could get it, but behind me is where the Warrington Bankey low level platforms were which also closed, which is now part of a freight o line, but I don't think I've seen freight for ages, to be honest. I'll try and get the camera in so you can have a look. That's all that remains of the low level, it's down there. I'm just now back at Warrington Bank Key Station. Now 5Q32 is running. So it's going to be a push to get that. Unfortunately, I'll get to crew and I just missed trades that I was going to catch. So the next one's about 10 to 3 at crew, which will get me in Stafford for 10 past 3. And the thing moves at um, 15.19 through the station. So I've only got 9 minutes. Anyway, my trade should be pulling in now to crew. <laughs>
I'm now at Crew Station. Now, yes, I have missed the 1432 to Stafford. So the next train to Stafford is 1450 to London, used to buy Burger Loose Street, which comes off Liverpool High Street. Now, I get in at 1510. The 5Q32 passes at 1519. So that's nine minutes if it runs the time. But it has been running about seven minutes early. So there could be a chance we miss it, which I hope not. But if not, okay. hopefully I should get it because I think the next Virgin's running late as well. That goes through Stafford at 20 past. Because it's a Scotland trade as well. So, I'm going to have to hope and see and pray for the best. See if we get by Q32 or not.
Jesús. I'm now back at Rushi Town. Before I go through the day, I just want to mention what happened to Stafford quickly. Because um, there were some tr freight trains on the fast and there were some odd movements because there's a points failure between Stafford and Wolverhampton. They said the cross country is apparently along the Trent Valley line, reversing up at Nuneaton. And there's a Pendineo being held there. And there's a few 50s that have been held there. But there was a points failure at Stafford. But I've got what I wanted to come through Stafford anyway. Today's trip, however, was all right until we got to Warrington. So we got to Stafford, got to Runcorn. It rained at Runcorn for a bit, but it was fine. Um, then I went to Frodsham, got a northern unit stopping there, which was fine, but everything was all right after that. Everything ran to time, or well, about a minute late or two. Then I got 67014, unfortunately, on the wag, going from Hel Frodsham to Helsby. Filmed at Helsby Station, which was fine, apart from the wasps that were like bothering me. There is plenty of outtakes with wasps mentioned. I might put them up. Anyway, um, then I went to Rodcourt East. Now, when I was doing these station histories, I was actually doing it on the move or when I was at the station itself. So I didn't repair the station history. So when I found out there was a station just east next to the Royal Court East Station, about a four minute walk from the station, I thought I had to go for it. Because I had 20 odd minutes to kill. So I went over there and got the disused station of Norton. So that was actually bonus in the video that wasn't planned. Then, um, I went over to Warrington Bank Keep, but this is where the problems come in. There was a fire on a property near the railway line. No, I think it was north of Preston. I'm not too sure. Which uh, delayed trains up, so I took the time while we had the wait to go and visit Warrington Arpley Station. Oh, and the sidings a bit further on is Latchford sidings, not Arpley sidings. So I do apologise for that mix-up. But I don't think there's been a freight train down there for years. Mind you, I did see one, so one must have still used Latchford sidings. But um, yeah, so there was delays at Warrington, missed two connections at crew that I was planning for, but luckily it got to Stafford just in time for 5Q32, which was 37601 hauling a Mark V set from Porterbury to Crew South Yard. And then I might have mentioned the points faders at Stafford. But my train was alright, came in alright, got back to Rooster Trevay and then got back to Rooster Town no problem. So that's the end of this trip. So it has been good, apart from Warrington, but it was a bit pushing it to get back to Stafford, but I got back to Stafford in time. My next trip I don't know when because I know there's some stuff going on at Acton Grange Junction. Starting next week, I might do some blogs for that, I might not. If I do, that'd be the next one going around Acton Grange Junction which is just before Warrington. If not, I do have a big one coming up in August that's going to be eight days but I want to keep that I'll be able to hush hush till close to the time. But all I've got to say is it bowls the southwest of England that's all I'm saying because that's going to be the big holiday this year for me. Big railway one. 
So you know my social media now, it's Simon Trains. Well, I say not called Simon Trains Real Jersey anymore, it's called Simon Trains FB group. No, FB page. Facebook page, anyway. But um, Twitter and Instagram are Simon Trains. Thank you for watching. I'm about to head home now. And I'll see you on the next one, wherever it will be.